guys, it's Carlos the Ultimate Fitness Training once again, and thank you so much for watching the video. And today we're doing a video about time. Uh, how long does it take? Now, this is a request that I've had from uh, some of you guys about how long does it take to get into shape? Now, this is obviously emails that I've received for some of you guys uh, requesting about the uh, how long basically it takes to get into shape. Now, how long is a piece of string? It's hard. Now, uh, there's a lot of variables that play into in, into that particular time sort of frame, if you like. Uh, it's one effort, how much effort you put into it. Two is the structure that you will have in front of you in order to get the goal you so want to achieve. It's the, uh, the intensity you work on, the frequency you work on, how long have you been doing it for. Then you've got obviously all your other stuff, which is obviously your diet, your training, your supplementation, the amount of aerobic exercise you do depending on your goal um, but timing is a big thing now one thing we need to understand and this is um, actually nature shows us this I mean like we are approaching the the winter now obviously it's cold days although it's not that cold today but you're getting colder days now obviously there's a lot more wind there's a lot more sort of um, dump in the um, in the air you know what I mean there's a lot more uh, humidity uh, so obviously you're going to have like a lot more or less um, warmer days and this is obviously the universe showing us this basically that it's not just about one click of the finger and you've got what you want, you need to take your time. Now you've got, you've got the winter, then you've got the spring, then you have the summer, then you have the autumn again. Now they're seasons and you know, it takes time you can't just click your finger and you've got in the summer again it doesn't work that way and that's the same thing with building a physique you need to take your time you need to put the right amount of effort consistently relentlessly every single day in order to get a bit of result and then you need to literally understand that's the process you got effort patience plus more patience, plus more effort, plus more patience, equals results. But you need to keep that momentum. There's nothing in the world that is worth anything that was built all of a sudden. It doesn't, there's nothing. I mean, you look at like diamonds. Diamonds are built through loads of pressure, years of pressure, and they become diamonds. That's the thing with any other thing that is worth anything. It takes time to build. And it does, you are going to go through some bad art chips. That's just the way it is. You know, you can't go, you can't look at someone's physique and go, wow, she looks amazing, he looks amazing. He, hasn't, he wasn't hard for, sorry, it wasn't easy for him, it was hard for him or for her. You know, it must have been some days probably they didn't want to work out. There must have been some days they were super busy, but they still had to come to the gym or they still had to prepare their diets. Uh, there must have been some really bad days where they, they probably had an argument with it. With it with the, you know, with, with the partner, and they still had to come to the gym. Uh, those are the days that probably they had a really bad time at work, but still had to come to the gym or do their diet and, and vice versa. So we all have, I know sometimes we say, oh, we all too, we, I'm too busy. Don't you think everyone's too busy? We all live a busy lifestyle. I live a busy lifestyle. You live a busy lifestyle. Everyone has a busy lifestyle, regardless of what it is. Now, we, when we say we're too busy, is a lack of understanding on how to manage our time within the time that we've got. Now, if you're really, 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 really busy, maybe you're spending far too much time on things that actually do not get you anywhere. Hence the reason why you're too, too busy. Now, manage your time correctly. Check, do, do a SWOT analysis on what you're actually doing in order to get your results. Now, I'm not saying that you're not busy with kids and, 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 and family and, and, and tasks and work. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is a lot of the times, this is something that you probably look at. Uh, the, I, have, I have done it myself before I was running like a lunatic and I'm getting, getting nowhere too fast. Um, but I wasn't getting anywhere because I was being, getting myself too busy. And you know, sometimes being busy is good, but being a busy fool is even worse. You know, so you've got to be very, very careful. Sometimes you need to analyze what we are doing and what are we putting our effort into that actually gets you the results that we want. So, like, say, if your goal is to gain mass, as an example, gain more muscular physique, a typical thing that a lot of guys want, for instance, uh, make sure you've got the right program and you're following the right program. Not just come to the gym, because a lot of you out there, you, you just come to the gym. That doesn't mean you are on the right path, you just come to the gym. 
So make sure you're training correctly, okay? That's the thing. Um, then obviously then you've got to make sure you're following the right diets that runs parallel with your goal. Now everyone's goal, um, you know, may be different, you know, not everyone wants to be muscular, but in these terms, if you are wanna if you want to have a more muscular physique, make sure that you're taking a great amount of protein per, per, per kilogram of body weight. Make sure obviously you have even your clean carbs, make sure you have in your 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 um, multivitamin minerals, making sure that you have your vegetables, make sure you have all the foods that make you grow, make sure you have your water ready, make sure you have your supplements ready, make sure you're taking the right things for you uh, in order to build your muscle, not just like turning up to the gym, because turning up to the gym, and I know it may, it may sound really silly, it's the easiest thing, anyone can get the bag, grab a shorts and t-shirt and off they go to the gym, but that don't mean they're making any progress. Uh, and this is the thing you've got to educate yourself, not just to become relentless, but become, do the right things in order to achieve your goal. And then you got to do it relentlessly. Nothing happens all of a sudden. Look, if you look at the weather outside, for instance, it's a windy day today. Um, you know, three months ago, we didn't have those. You know, there was a, two months ago was a summer day. Do you know, three months ago was more like, you know, a, a lot sunnier and, and it was a lot, a lot crispier. Now, obviously got wind and we may have rain in a minute and it's going to be snow in a couple of months. And this is that because it takes time, you know, so you've got to give time. Be patient. I know it's hard and I know you probably see these um, fitness models on, on Instagram and YouTube and, and on internet, like all of a sudden they're all probably telling you that they've changed, transformed their bodies in two months. It's crap. No one can tell you. Look, if you starting up or if you've already been training for a while and you've, you haven't got a, fr a frame yet, a proper uh, physique frame, you, you won't build a physique in two months. Anyone that tells you that, they are talking out of their bum because you won't. I mean, it takes a while. It take, I mean, you can say colors, but with all your experience, how long will it take? I mean, very hard to say. I've done some amazing transformations to clients of mine, but we had to create some sort of structure first. Uh, some guys done it in a year, some guys done it in 18 months, some guys done it in two years, some guys done it in three years, but you've got to make sure you give yourself time. Everyone's different. A lot of the times depends on how much effort they put into it. A lot of the times depends on genetics. A lot of times depends how frequent they do it as well because obviously some, some of us will put a lot of effort between uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It comes Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. We, we almost like live a different life. We start going out a lot, we start drinking a lot, we start eating a lot, and all of a sudden it starts again on Monday. So it really does depend on so many other variables. So you've got to make sure you give yourself the right program, the right diet, the right supplementation, the right efforts, and the right desire, and you do it consistently in order to be able to achieve. But remember, it's an element of time, you need to give time in order to achieve that. So with all that said, guys, thank you very much for watching this video once again. Make sure you like, share and subscribe to our channel which is Carlos Trainer on YouTube uh, and also uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram which is Carlos Trainer 10 I'll follow you back and um, make sure you keep supporting us and uh, with all that said guys stay happy stay healthy stay fit have a great day take care